bordered by India to its west, north and east. Bangladesh is a country in South Asia with a population of almost 170 million. Bangladesh is the next 11 developing nation with a $175 billion economy and a per capita income of $1,190. With the ever-changing world, it is also moving with an accelerated pace towards prosperity. Bangladesh's major industries include textiles, pharmaceuticals, electronics, telecommunications, energy, leather, food processing and ceramics, its exports amounted to $30 billion in the fiscal year 2013. 70% of export earnings came from the textile industry, which is the world's fourth largest textile exporter. It is also called the tailoring nation of the world. The pharmaceutical industry meets 97% of domestic demand and exports to 52 countries. The industrial sector accounts for 30% of GDP, agriculture 18% and service sector 51%. The telecom industry in Bangladesh is one of the fastest growing markets in the world. With 114 million cell phone subscribers in December 2013, Cervix sector is the largest contributor to Bangladesh GDP. In 1980s, uh, its contribution to employment generation uh, had been only 24%, whereas that has significantly improved to back in 2009-2010 to 35%. If you look at uh, the kind of uh, career opportunity that is there in the uh, service sector, uh, along li in the line of all those uh, development happening in all those subsectors that I've, I've discussed, the career opportunities are actually uh, immense. To talk about the power generation scenario of uh, Bangladesh, at national level, in the last five years, our installed capacity has increased from 4,000 megawatt to over 11,000 megawatt. And that is a growth of over two times. In the United Group, our installed capacity about five years ago was about 200 megawatts. This has grown to about 700 megawatts in five years' time. That is equal to over three times. It is an ever-expanding scenario in this country, and the requirement of uh, trained engineers and technical people is immense. There's immense scope of uh, employment for uh, technically qualified and engineering uh, students. Looking at growth of the job market, Bangladesh has a general economy that's growing with 6 to 7% per year. Um, and another interesting part, the thing that we see is many more Bangladeshi people come back from working or studying abroad and start their own companies in Bangladesh. Of course, it generates a lot of jobs with local people at the top. In the future, um, we expect to see uh, more of that happening, more um, people from abroad coming back and also uh, slowly but surely top management positions in international companies that are now still fulfilled by foreigners are opening up for local people. English is an essential part of a fast-growing and export-focused economy like Bangladesh. Currently there's a large pool of mid-level uh, uh, manpower, mid-level skilled manpower here in Bangladesh uh, who are well connected to the internet. Uh, the next step will be to have creative and independent thinkers who can really fuel a uh, sustainable and economic growth here in Bangladesh. To enhance the quality of higher education and promote dialogue and understanding between people and cultures through mobility and academic, 54 Bangladeshi nationals have been awarded the Erasmus Mundus Scholarship including 11 female students. United International University has been involved in six European Union funded Erasmus Mundus mobility projects under which more than 50 students from Bangladesh went to study in the European universities. After completion of their degrees, they have been employed in the renowned organizations of the country where their exposure to the European universities was considered to be an important element. The economy of Bangladesh has grown significantly over the last decade that has created ample job opportunities for the qualified professionals. I'm sure that the future of the Europe-trained 
graduates will even be brighter in the days to come. Hi, I'm Shohana Mahmood. I'm working as a software engineer at Bragg IT Services Limited. I went to Staffordshire University, UK as a uh, undergraduate student. Uh, the opportunity to study in Staffordshire University has a great impact in my career path. It has changed my world view. I am Ahmad Nadim Chaudhary. I have been to England in the year 2010 to continue a part of my undergraduate study in Staffordshire University, UK. It was a European Union funded Erasmus Mandas scholarship titled as E-Link Project. Under this scholarship, I have studied few courses on robotics and control system and also completed my final year project. The project was uh, titled as Intelligent Video Surveillance System. Uh, this scholarship uh, was a, it was a great opportunity for me to study in a British university. It also enhanced my knowledge in the field of robotics and control system. And overall, it has a tremendous impact on my career. Uh, currently, I am working as a lecturer in United International University, uh, Bangladesh. Uh, it was a fantastic experience and a great exposure indeed. New investments are coming to Bangladesh and many new industries are opening up with this growing opportunities and new established businesses. It will need more and more qualified students. We hope that with time it will emerge as a strong economy and start contributing to its people.